Honest. Jay Nowak. Oh yeah. A pleasure to meet all at last, and welcome back to Flying with the Foam on HJN. And now, I feel like we're going to go on quite a little bit bigger here, because today, judging by from what the notepad tells us, number 628, the rival Artemis is going to be taking on for today's little topic here on HJN. And as a result, I feel very honored, because this is in fact probably one of the best blasters that you might be able to pay for out here in today's generation. As you probably already know, the rival blasters are probably best known for including HIR rounds or high impact rounds or hers if you want to get a little more technical yet humorous if you will. Of course I have this entire blaster loaded with just about every type of HIR round that Hasbro has sold, including the camo rounds, the edge rounds, which are just light green versions of the original rounds, which are yellow as you can see. Of course, I have 30 rounds loaded in here, and this is basically how you reload. It's not like there are three separate magazines in here, unlike the majority of certain Rivals blasters out there. So you basically slide this back and the chamber itself will pretty much loosen to a point where you can easily fit 10 of them per chamber. And there are three tubings here in total, which adds up to 30 rounds. So, of course, that's pretty much just how that is. Of course, I also had these little clips on the top here of the Rivals Tactical Rail. So this way, these would normally be used for adding an additional magazine on the top. 7 round or 12 round. So, of course... That's basically just that, but the main event itself, the rival Artemis, which basically has its nice little pump action with a small cord of nub, kind of foregrip with a square taping on the base. So if you're trying to grip onto it with a large hand like this, then well, of course you're, well, mostly this part is going to kind of interfere with the grip level of however comfortable you want it to be. Uh, that was kind of badly said, but can you blame me? So, now that's just how it basically works. But if you are very familiar with other blasters out there that have this sort of stance where you have both hands on it, one hand on a pump and one hand on the actual grip with the finger on the trigger, then well, of course, you can always hold it down and you can have slam fire put onto this thing. Now, as awesome as that sounds, I quite honestly feel like I'm probably making a little bit of a mess here, so I'll probably just stop. And okay, Choo Choo is getting a little bit scared, so let's just stop with that for right now. Of course, Rivals Blasters, they all come in blue and red, even though in more recent times, the adaptation of having both blue and red style Rivals Blasters has been a li little bit delayed, but even though it's been a little bit delayed, that doesn't really mean that Hasbro will never put out their newer Rivals Blasters in both blue and red. And there is the possibility that we might still be getting more Camo Blasters, or Edge Blasters, or Phantom Core Blasters. It's a possibility. But of course, I got my Artemis in blue, and not red like most people would. So, of course, that's kind of a personal problem right there, but I do have Rose Blasters in red. You could probably check out my review on the Arrows, or you can also always go over to after saw and watch the many Rivals Blasters that I've done on the red ones. But for here, with the blue ones that I've got, and I do have a few more of each, plus other Rivals Blasters, which I will get to at some point later on, I'm pretty certain that I will in fact be having more things to talk about here. But overall, the Artemis Blaster is great, has nice slam fire action with 30 rounds put into it, 
not really 35 like the Raider or 25 like the Rampage, but overall, a good blaster for what it is. A good usage of your time and money and a good addition to the Rivals lineup as a whole. But if you want to see more go down on my channel, then make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.